Now, back to Access Tech Live, the latest in tech and accessibility with Stephen Scott and Mark Aflalo. Welcome back to the show. Now, there's one event that takes place in the calendar every year that I get very excited about, and it is CSUN, Mark. Oh, that's fun. And you know what, Stephen, you had a chance to with their interim managing director last week to preview next week's event. Let's take a look at that one. Well, first off, thank you so much for joining us here on Access Tech Live, Julia. Great to have you here. Thank you. It's great. My pleasure to be here. So, you know, it's interesting because I, as a blind guy, I'm well aware of CSUN. I've certainly heard that acronym used many, many times. But of course, there are many people out there who will not have a clue what CSUN is. So do tell us, what, what is CSUN? Yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's funny. I get this question a lot or there's a lot of confusion around uh, the name CSUN. Uh, CSUN is actually an acronym. Um, it's C-S-U-N. Um, and we are a university out in California. Uh, we're a state university, so the CSUN stands for California State University at Northridge. And Northridge is a local town in uh, Los Angeles. And what we are here to talk about today, of course, is the annual conference that happens uh, from CSUN. Uh, tell us about that and, and tell us about the origins of this. Um, it actually started back in, uh, well, 39 years ago um, with Dr. Harry Murphy, who um, was in my position back then and was really wanting more resources and more development in this area in the field of assistive technology. At the time, there was different people around the world really working on this, but there was never, a, he felt like there wasn't an, a, a great way to communicate, to collaborate, to basically bring all the minds together and try to figure out what the future um, of this field really looked like and how how to to not only define the path, but as well as promote growth in this area and so he his initial thought was to just bring people together bring those great minds together um, the first conference was a small event that took place here at the CSUN uh, University campus um, and from there it grew it grew over the years and to what it has become now um, which is the premier annual event in this field. Um, we um, bring and attract professionals, users, uh, practitioners, um, research and development folks, big companies, um, but essentially stakeholders throughout the world. Um, we're, you know, accessibility and assistive technology, and so we span um, a very comprehensive and diverse uh, representation of within the disability field and um, different types of disabilities, as well as different solutions um, to um, accessibility and assistive technology. And so we uh, have uh, over 300 sessions, I want to say even closer to 400 sessions over the course of the week. Um, and we also have a concurrent running exhibit hall um, with exhibiting companies and organizations uh, showcasing products and services. And we have over 125 exhibitors this year. And so it's going to be a very, very exciting, engaging and full event that we're very much anticipating. Yeah, and you mentioned something that was quite interesting because I often think about CSUN as an event for blindness technology, but as you say, actually, you, you talk about a wide range of disabilities and, and you encourage speakers, you encourage exhibitors to talk about a wide range of, of disabilities at the event, right? Yes, um, you know, we are the Center on Disabilities and we are very comprehensive. There's, you know, and there's a lot of overlap, I think, between, you know, different technology solutions um, and applications as well as just accessibility in general. Um, but we do see um, a full, actually, 
um, representation in terms of various um, disability populations as well as those um, technology solutions and companies that represent uh, solutions for you know a wide range of disabilities. So we're not definitely we're definitely not focused in just one area. Um, and as I said, you know, not only is it you know broad in terms of the types of disabilities that um, we have, you know, we have sessions as well as companies represented um, there, but as well as just within the professional field, uh, those whether it be coming from government and policy to education and uh, rehab professionals to you know, engineers and designers and doing um, R&D um, and development of those tools and solutions. And so um, we're certainly not focused in any one area. It's fairly comprehensive. I, I, I think it's interesting because you say you're coming up for your 40th year. And I think, goodness, what must have that first event been like in that room? What kind of technology were they talking about? I mean, I'm guessing Braille. I'm guessing lots of very... Um, almost medical class equipment at that time. You probably weren't talking about, I mean, certainly weren't talking about iPhones. I did hear about it. You know, it was certainly not what the conference is today, um, but it was where it started. And as I said, it were brought together, you know, at the time, I think it was fairly focused on academics, um, um, really looking at how to, you know, push the development of these uh, products and solutions. And, you know, at some point, as technology grew and improved, um, much of it has become a bit more mainstream than um, than it was back in at that time. In contrast to where, where the when the conference started, what th those devices and, and items available then this year were seeing a lot in the AI uh, arena. Um, so, you know, still we'll see what's to come, um, but even that is much more mainstream and seeing how things can translate and overlap um, in the accessibility and the um, AT side of things. And you're absolutely right. I mean, there is a long way to go to what anyone might consider to be accessibility for all. We're not there yet. However, huge progress has been made and you know you can look back in the history of CSUN you could chart that success the changes that have taken place that get us to where we, we are today but interestingly it feels like there's been some weird inversion here where you know we've gone from having specialist devices that we all talk about that we focus on being really good for disabled people because they make our lives better to mainstream devices being talked about by those disabled people at events like CSUN now. So things have kind of gone full circle, right? We've now got the mainstream involved, but what CSUN does and, and events like it do, and, and this particular conference does, is bring people together to show how disabled people use that mainstream technology, and that's important. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so give us some headlines. What, what's coming up at, at the conference? What can we look forward to? Yes, um, this year is going to be really great. We kick off the um, conference Tuesday, March 19th, um, with our keynote, and this year's keynote is Haben Gurma. She is um, a prominent deaf-blind um, Harvard-educated attorney um, that um, does a lot of work in the advocacy um, of disability rights. Um, so I'm definitely very excited and looking forward to her talk uh, Tuesday morning. Um, as well as throughout the week, we have several networking opportunities. We have the full exhibit hall that opens Wednesday morning, um, the 20th. The exciting part about the exhibit hall is that that um, is open and free um, to the public to attend. Um, so there's, uh, you can uh, show up and register on the spot and for free and attend the exhibits. Uh, we have accessible karaoke night. Um, we have a welcome reception and just some really great opportunities for people just to have some fun and just network and engage with each other. Well, you'll be glad that I'm not coming because uh, you do not want to hear me do Neil Diamond. <laughs> well, I was going to say, if, if you're not coming um, or, or far away, another really great uh, opportunity to engage uh, with us is uh, we last year debuted what we call CSUN ATC TV 
which is um, our uh, channel, which you can view um, our live stream um, of various uh, content that we have um, at the conference. Um, we have a broadcast studio that we will uh, live stream uh, the keynote address. Um, and in the afternoons each day, we have uh, a full schedule of fireside chats. Um, so we have different industry leaders um, engaged in just conversations. So we're definitely looking forward to uh, that full schedule there. And you can connect for free anywhere um, to uh, view uh, that content. Uh, you can connect just by at csun.at slash conference. Brilliant. Uh, that sounds like you really don't want me to come and uh, sing Neil Diamond. Um, but... I, I want you to come, please. I would love that. <laughs> uh, Julia, it is wonderful to learn about CSUN, the history of it. I also wish you all the best for the 40th year, uh, but for now, yeah. for the 39th year, for sure. Julia Santiago, thank you so much for being with us on Access Tech Live. Thank you. That was Julia Santiago. We're going to have a lot of coverage about CSUN over the next week, couple couple of weeks, hopefully, uh, with some people heading down on our behalf, gathering some interviews and uh, various things that we hope to bring to you on future shows. When we come back, though, Canon has developed a new technology that's on display in a photography exhibition that invites everyone to experience photography in a new, accessible and immersive way. We're going to learn more after this. There's more Access Tech Live to come. Get involved and have your say at Access Tech Live on social media. We'll be right back.